going to prove to you that the time of Jacob's trouble is in fact what post-tribbers call the Great Tribulation. Because the time of Jacob's trouble, that title gives away who it's for. It's for the Jews, because Jacob is Israel. But post-tribbers have to abandon this title because it would prove the fact that it's not for Christians, it's for the Jews. So they have to call it the tribulation, and they'll make up this argument of where where's the time of Jacob's trouble the same thing as the great tribulation. Well, I'm going to show you that it is talking about the same thing. Now, obviously, the great tribulation is not a title for this, this coming time period. It is a description, but it's never used as a title. But I'll be using their terminology just so people know what I'm talking about. So Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It says, Alas, for that, day is, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So who is Jacob? It's Israel. But in order to refute that, they have to say, well, this is not the tribulation. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. Of course, again, the tribulation is never used as a title. They have to make it this title. But notice how the verse says, uh, so that none is like it. Well, that lines up perfectly with Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, verses 21. says, Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Notice how both verses talk about this time period, that it basically there's nothing else like it. It's not been since the beginning of the world, nor shall ever be. It's talking about the same thing. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, lines up with Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Because both of them are describing a, an event that is nothing like the world has ever seen. It's not, it basically is, there's none else like it. So it's talking about the same thing. See, this is why you compare scripture with scripture, because it lines up. You don't just base doctrine off one verse or two verses out of context. You compare scripture with scripture. Comparing Jeremiah 30 verse 7, which says there's none like it, paraphrasing of course, to Matthew chapter 24 verse 21, says that basically there's not anything like it since the beginning of the world. It's the same event. So, time of Jacob's trouble is, in fact, the Great Tribulation. So, it just destroys this, this post-trib argument of, oh, it's not talking about the same thing. Yes, it is. You compare scripture with scripture. Both events, in both verses, are talked about talking about an event that is basically none else like it. And notice how uh, verse 22 talks about how, except those days be shortened, so no flesh be saved, but the elect's sake, since those days, you know, talk, paraphrasing, of course, but if you read verse 22, it talks about how the elect are going to be saved out of it. Well, just like how Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 says, and he shall be saved out of it, referring to Jacob. I shall read to you verse 22. It says, except, and except those days be, should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You know, Jeremiah 30 verse 7 says, he shall be saved out of it. It's talking about the same event. So don't let post trippers deceive you in, in trying to get you to think that it's not talking about the same event. They have to basically refute the fact that the time of Jacob's trouble is called the time of Jacob's trouble, that is for the Jewish people, because it would destroy the thing of Christians going in this time period. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.